Okay, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, make these concrete bases for the uh, for the shed areas. So the engine shed will sit on top of here. So grab this engine shed and show you what I mean. So you can see the shed sits at the top. These two sides have been cleaned up. This one's only had an initial uh, initial coating of plaster, and this is the one that needs to be done from scratch. So I'm going to take the shed off, press pause, and I'll show you the tools I'm using. Okay, so you can see now the shed's off. That you can see this is quite a smooth finish on these and this one's quite rough looking uh, this one's only had the one plaster one coat of plaster applied because it's quite a deep fill it's 12 mil thick uh, and I'm using this uh, 12 by 12 mil uh, just to uh, for me concrete uh, edges so it's exactly the same as laying a concrete slab for a, a garage or a shed so you just build your wooden frame up around uh, where you want to lay the concrete uh, for that, I'm cutting it with the wood with a tenon saw, standing blade. I've got some nails which I'm knocking into the wood just to hold the uh, the frame in place. So I'll do that now. So. It doesn't have to be perfectly placed, it just got to be down enough to hold hold the frame while it's uh, while the plaster's setting. And you've got something to push against for the plaster, so Okay, so that's in place now. So the next thing I need is a plaster spatula or a blade, uh, just for some, you can use it for smoothing. And I use a metal ruler. I've also got some water, uh, which is in a, a pot. And I've got the plaster, which is easy plaster, uh, really easy to use. And I'll show you what I do. So use the plaster strafe on the tub. Okay, so I'll pause it again. I'll reposition the camera and we'll show you what we do next. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, to hold the plaster to stick to the uh, the board, I've got some water and PVA uh, mixture, and I'm just going to run this into the uh, onto the wood. It's probably a bit too thin now because the water's down, probably a bit too much, but it's just to help the uh, plaster to bond to the wood. So just give that a good coating. So while that's drying, I'll, I'll go and when that's going tacky, so while it's going tacky, I'm just going to go back to this area in the middle next. Let's move this back slightly. So I'm going to go back to go back to here, and I'm going to start to apply the second coat to this. So all you do for that is really just go 
case of going back over what you've done, working in small areas. plaster into the corners get as much as you can so what you do find is as the plaster dries it sinks quite a lot so that's why I tend to find when you go over the second coat you get a much nicer finish You want to get to above the height of the rails to start with, clean up as you go along best you can. If you're working small sections, this is where the water comes in now. So you get your ruler, and all you do is start on the top of the rails. And just do little sliding movements, sliding the move the ruler along and then work your way. Work your way back. Every so often to clean off the ruler. Work it back again. And go back again, just a bit more. Going back over where you've gone okay. and keep going, keep working it. Nice slow movements, leveling the plaster off as you work backwards. And it's really a case of the smaller, just working small areas. If you've got a couple of that there, I've got a couple of depressions, so all I do now is go back over, fill the holes in where the holes are and then you just work your way back back over this place it, it does take time, it does uh, take up quite a bit of work and you'll, find, you'll, you'll keep finding holes and depressions as you're working your way along in just a case of going back I'm not looking for a perfect slab because again it's an engine shed it's not going to be perfect but it's just you want it to be relatively smooth, relatively level Every so often picking up some plaster. I 
working way back down the So what I'm going to do now is just going to clean this ruler off a bit. So all I'm going to do is get the water on because it just dried to the ruler. And obviously that will affect the, uh, the smoothness of the edge. So I've got a paper towel, oh, an old, a cloth, an old bag. Just wipe it down and then I'm good to nice and clean edge. So there's a bit of plastic dry there to that. So I'm just taking that off. And then in this case, go back to the... Uh, Okay, so I'm going to pause it now because I think you've probably seen enough. Uh, so I'll come back and show you what it looks okay, like. So this part of the, the PBA is sort of, uh, it's gone, it's, it's quite tacky now. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop some plaster into here, being careful not to sort of do any damage to the area I've just done. So that's all been smoothed out now. So just in case loading this up, it's going to sink. So I'm not looking perfection in the first pass. I just want to fill it up just below the height I want it to go to and then I'll go back in and I'll fill and tidy it all up because it will sink, it does sink to some degree once it's uh, when it's once it dries. Remember this is you know this is a finishing plaster so it's only supposed to be a couple of mil thick and I'm asking it to be you know 12 mil thick which is quite a lot deeper than what it's designed for really more than so again just just for much the same sort of process what I've done before so you're just filling it in spreading it around getting it into all the corners
again trying to work in small patches and small areas it's going to be a bit more fun because it's a bit thinner here so Again, just get me ruler, go across, and then just get again into that sort of uh, okay. So Again, just go back to it. Okay, and again, you probably watched this for enough, so I'll pause it there and I'll show you what it looks like when this so is that's finished. It now for this evening, uh, I'm going to leave this to dry. So this is at the second layer, which is fairly smooth. It's going to need a bit of sanding, like this will do. Uh, but I'm going to leave this 24 hours. See how it looks. This area is a bit I've just done, which is at its first sort of coating. Uh, looking very rough at the moment quite a few holes but the main thing like i said it will sink uh, it will sink to some degree uh and it's going it's just to get that initial layer of uh of plaster in i can let this fully dry let it sink overnight uh give it a good 24 hours and then come in and skim it the same as i did with this one and then just tidy up uh and when you get when you do the skim coast the last coast that's when you get the really nice fine finish so Call it a night, give it a good 24 hours, and we'll come back and have a look at it. Uh, see, look at them. So, for, see you for now. Okay, so what it's time to do now is to tidy up this area. So, I've had quite a few cracks forming this, but it's quite deep in places and quite a big space uh, to sort of lay the concrete base on. So, this needs a lot of cleaning up with the second coat. I've got a slight dip there, which I want to just try, to try and address. Uh, the rest and a few little holes, but I'm going to leave those because I want so I don't want it to be perfect. So I'm not looking for perfect laid concrete. Uh, that one, these two, may be a bit bigger than I'd like, but maybe it adds to the uh, the effect. But I do want to try and get this dip out here. Uh, 
So I'm going to work on that first, then go to this one here, tidy this up, and then I think that'd be it for now for the plaster, uh, for the concrete, apart from maybe the fuel point, which should go there, but I want to get this all done, uh, get the shed on, get the frame around the outside off, and do the ballast between the tracks before I go any further. So I'll crack on. And I'm going to speed up now because it's uh, you're probably getting bored of me watching apply plaster to this.